ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft The Witchment. I am here with these two fellows uh, in the nether. Uh, everything is very noisy. Anyway, um, <laughs> it wasn't until I edited my last video that I realised the original reason that I made the smirched armour was so that I could go into the nether without being accosted constantly by puppy dogs. So here we are, uh, and, but I am going to have a go at this guy. No, I'm not. I'm not. I've, I've just got stuff to do. Um, I'm going to do all the things that I've been meaning to do in the nether and haven't been able to do. Um, I hate that there's a hole there and I know one of those guys have... Oh yeah, so um, I've been pretty busy between episodes, but I'll go through that soon. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to collect some of these materials because I... Uh, because I need it. Um, oh, there's so much to say about a lot of things. Um, so thank goodness these guys are leaving me alone. And it's because I'm wearing... It's because I look sickening. Look at this. I look sick. I look like... I don't know. I don't even know. Does this do anything? I didn't bring a shovel. Because I'm a poop. Alright. Um, I'm gonna... Like, of course, some problems here. Wolf stem. Yes, we'll have a bit of that. Uh, what I really want is some glowstone. Or, actually, well, yeah, glowstone. Oh, goodness gracious me. Uh... Oh yeah, so uh, in trying to defeat my lag issues, I have actually... <gasps> oh my goodness. I've actually gotten rid of Zero's minimap because I did some trawling around on some uh, forums, I suppose. And uh, some people have reported that they have had problems with uh, mapping mods. So I've gotten rid of that, so I basically just need to <laughs> hope really hard. <laughs> That, um, I hope really hard that I remember what direction I'm coming from and what direction I'm going in, per se. Oh, gee, that's useful. Um, cool. So, shroom light. I really like these shroom lights, so I'm going to get all up in that. But what we really want is some glowstone, because we're going to do some potion modifiers. Um, and we're going to do stuff using glowstone. So there's that. A couple more shroom lights, that's lovely. I didn't bring my shears. It would have been nice to get some of these vines just as decoration, because they are rather lovely. Um, I don't want to destroy that big... Oh, great. Oh, man. Uh, but I did... Ooh, look at that. Gee, I'm clever. Hmm. Uh, okay, so let's, let's just, you know... Let's pretend that we came prepared. You know what? I'll have two of them. Oh, I've already got... You know what? It's fine. It's fine. You, you really cannot have enough tools. Uh, and yes, I insist on continuing to use stone tools. No, I won't accept constructive criticism, as usual. Uh, let's get rid of this. Hello. <laughs> uh, cool. Great. Oh, I see. I understand. So, those... These, um, I guess, giant mushroom things, they actually have a really high I see what's happening I'm not going crazy so you'd actually be better off maybe using a diamond axe for it I suppose anyway, at some point I'm going to have to beat up all of these endermen because I'm sure I will need their bits for bewitchment purposes uh, okay Where's the glowstone at? Okay, I... I don't want to get lost in the nether. I have... Ah, uh, there's the glowstone. Okay. 
you know what we're gonna do it we're gonna do this the old fashioned way I don't have enough oh yeah we'll use one of these we'll use one of these that'll be good all right <laughs> here goes let's do it we're doing this like we did it back in the day I don't know what kind of fancy new bangled methods your kids have these days for getting glowstone, but this is how we did it. Lardy Charlie, do not look at an Enderman while I'm up here. Like if I if I do that, it's all over Red Rover. Okay, um, yeah, let's let's just let's just do this. Let's just do this and let it fall to the ground. I hope for the best, hey. <laughs> oh goodness gracious me. Alright, we're we're sneaking, we're sneaking, we're doing it. <sighs> oh, it's been a while since I did this nonsense. Let's see how we go. That's good. Uh yeah, let's be a little bit greedy, shall we? While we're up here and we are somehow miraculously uh, making it work bit of quartz but I'm not gonna grab that just yet yes so as part of Terrestria there is another mod called Cinderscapes which is um, now I best Hold on, I'm concentrating. I best get the right blocks, hey? Um, what is the best? Is this what is this? How does how is is this a an axe block? Is this no? I don't know what it is. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We'll just suffer. Now, what was I saying? Saying. I really don't know what I was saying at all. Oh yes, uh, Cinderscapes is a mod that adds more uh, biomes to the nether, so I think that purpley biome is what we were seeing. We were seeing some Cinderscapes action, which is nice. Uh, okay, let's collect some of this glowstone now that we're at a, uh, I guess, a more sensible altitude. Yep, that'll do us. More of that. Lovely. Okay, so that's nearly a stack. It's actually not all that much grand scheme of things. Oh, here's a bit more. Yep. Okay, what's that got us? About a stack and a half. Uh, uh, a bit more. A few more bits around here. Um, I have somewhere around here. Uh, yeah, we'll have some of this too. Um, yeah, somewhere around here. I've got a cheeky little, um, just a netherrack sort of mine, because, uh, well, I'll show you. <laughs> I've been hitting the netherrack pretty hard, if I'm honest. Have some roots. Look at all this pretty stuff. Oh, that's the sound of a ghast. I can't wait to actually properly explore the nether. I'd really like a broom. And that is why we are gonna get on that um we're gonna get on that broom action real quick so we can do some some real nice exploration. Oh the nether, the nether, the nether still gives it doesn't gives me the 
doesn't give me the creeps in the sense of like I'm not afraid of the atmosphere or anything like that. In fact, I the Nether has like my favorite atmosphere in the whole game. I love it. Um, but it does give me the creeps for its precariousness. It's um, it's terrain is just you know next level risky. Okay, now. Boy, have I got some stuff to show you guys. Okay, so I've been a busy, busy bee between episodes. So as I said before, I've been mining up the netherrack. Like, all get out. And, um... Okay, cool. That was weird, but alright. Um, and I've been using some netherrack as a building material. And now this... This is my little hovel area that I hadn't really done up yet. Oh my gosh, stop leaving your junk in my house. Don't you walk away from me while I'm speaking to you. Remove this. Don't just sit, don't stand on my bed like that. Huh? Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh bad. <laughs> oh, I deserve that. I just had like a total lapse in judgment just now. I was just like, oh, open. You know, for, for the bit. I just made direct eye contact with the Enderman for the bit. Um, don't give me my stuff back. Let's put our clothes back on for a start. Anyway, sir, thank you for losing me. I don't, actually don't know how many levels I have. That's fine. Can I use these to decorate? Ooh, I can. So shoot. Oh, but they break. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. I should go back in with shears, I think. Anyway, I'm just going to drop off a bunch of this stuff. Uh, whoop stem. That's going to come in handy. I really like the look at that wood. Um, yes, and then shroom light. The shroom light I will use at some point. But now, see, now we have uh, glowstone and redstone, which means we can do some proper good modification to some of these uh, brews that we're making, which is exciting. All right, so we've got this... Uh, this little area. I thought a fireplace. I, I traditionally I make a fireplace in like every single house that I make in Minecraft, dude. Okay. Uh, yes. So that's the fireplace, and I have this room right here. Now ignore the torches. I was just making sure that um, a a full chalk circle would fit in the room. Um, it, this room is still pretty, like, you know, like that. Um, but, um, this is going to be my demon summoning room. Because, uh, you need, I was going through the book and I was reading about demons. And you need a room that's basically fireproof. So we can't have a wooden anything, basically. Um, I guess even this ladder and this door are probably going to be a bit of a worry but we'll see how we go um it comes out here so i've got this sort of little back door business going on here uh which i think is neat hello sir uh yep so this is my this is the back of <laughs> my area now um okay so explanation I had to move my altar basically because it was just out of range of all the things that needed it. So, and also I've been doing altars wrong. <laughs> I've been, I've had like witchery brain and I've been, you know, putting six altars at once and I'm lost now. Um, you know, and actually it turns out you only need one. You only need like this, basically. So, you know, there's that. I really wish, I don't know how to like light the candelabra. I wish I could do it, but I can't work it out. I discovered how to make paths. That's a neat new sort of vanilla Minecraft thing. So I've been having fun with that. So sorry, I'm 
and bobbing around a ton. I don't mean to. I'm just going to calm down a little bit. Um, yes, so this is the current... No! Give me that. Uh, this is the current altar setup. What have we got? 776. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So this altar is within range for the circle in the tower, as well as the demon room, as well as the cauldron. Um, so that's all hunky-dory. Uh, here's the path. Here are the kitty cats. Looking adorable. I love them. Uh, I left the old altar garden here because I think it's nice. Uh, and I'm like that. But yes, so without further ado. Oh, that's what we didn't get. Blaze rods. Poggo. Um, but while we're in the overworld, I guess, I am going to grab my shears and go grab some vines and we're going to make some invisibility potions because we can. So here we go. No, I don't want the leaves. I remember when people used to make hedges out of the leaves. Do people still do that? You know? Um, that's pretty good. Poor swamp trees. They've been made naked and now I'm, you know, stripping them of their um I don't know. Something. Okay, so we've got our vines. We're gonna grab some uh mandrake and is there a trick to getting honey? Like I actually don't know. Um let's where's our mandrake? Here we go. Um, no, we've got that. Well, let's grab some of this and some of that. And let's see what we can rustle up here. Um, okay, so we've got mandrake. We've got... Uh, when Actually, when do you add the modifiers? Brewing basics. Immediately. So keep that in mind. Only add up to four ingredients. Okay. Modifiers. You may only add one potency enhancing modifier. Okay. Well, I think we're going to need some wood ash, nevertheless, because, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to fail a bunch of brews. Um, and while we're at it, let's cook up some more. Oh no, I moved that campfire. Oh no. Maybe I'll put it back, because that's actually quite useful. It's not in the bits box. Oh, where did I put it? Where did I put that jolly campfire? That's far bloody done. Um, okay, well, maybe we'll put this... Oh no, we'll put it... Like, this is as good as place as any. As good as place as any. Alright, get that going. Let's try this. Let's try... Um, okay, so we've got, uh, we've got that. We just want to make sure the glass is in our hands. We've also got absorption. Let's try... A bit of everything, hey? So here we go. Oh, great. Yeah, I'm finding it hard to, like, aim things into the cauldron. What? You know what? Let's go all out. Let's just add redstone to it. Not for that. What does that give us? Invisibility 2. And it goes for 2 minutes 30. 
Okay. I'm sure that will come in handy. Alright, let's try another. And let's try, um, let's try absorption. Here we go. Mandrake root, honey bottle, glowstone, redstone. Oh, that's a fail. Yeah, that's a fail. Yeah. Okay, well, we're gonna need more honey. Which is a real bugger because these fellows don't like that. So. Am I just supposed to kill the bees? Or, like, what? What are the bee mechanics? Oh, what? I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, just take a bit and go. Are you gonna. Nope. I'm gonna go into my house. So can you only take one bottle of honey at a time? Is that where we're at? I don't know. Alright, let's try this again. Mandrake root. It's in. Honey bottle. Let's, let's, you know what? Let's try that. Let's just try that. Here we go. Absorption. And it goes for one minute. So I wonder... You know what? I'm actually going to make a dedicated chest. the inventory management is real. Oh my gosh. Everyone go away. Um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a cheeky little chest right here. And I'm just gonna put stuff in there so we can just stand here all day long. Put that chest in your chest. Um, and just make a bruise. So. Okay, so there's obviously some sort of cooldown period here. I see. You're gonna be grumpy, aren't you? Mm, yep. Okay, no more absorption. Okay, let's do. Um, let's do the Brew of Gills. Yep, okay, so fill that up. I do miss in Witchery the like um, brew of endless water. That was really useful. Witch brew gills. Nice. Alright. Okay, uh, so our next port of call, I'm, I would like to make a broom and I would like to bind a familiar. So for both of those things, we need a demon heart. So <laughs> we need to summon a demon. So that's exciting for everyone involved. Uh, 666, we can afford this. <sighs> uh, but I haven't made the right chalk yet. So... Can we? Fiery chalk, fiery serum, heaven extract. Heaven extract. How interesting. Um, let's have a look at that. Juniper bark, feather, and a mandrake root. Aha! This is your time to shine, my friend. Oh, but I don't have a bowline. Did they get rid of the bowline? Can I? No, I don't. I don't want that. 
can I, can I, can I get feathers from you? Remember the old chicken shed mod? It was a mod that got chickens to just shed feathers. It was pretty useful. Do I have feathers? Am I going to have to go out and kill wildlife? I have two. That'll do. Oh. Oh gosh. It, it, is, it is rather hard to handle the cauldron. Um, anyway, let's uh, go back to... What is this? Fiery chalk. Yeah, heaven extract. How do you make this? Juniper bark, feather, mandrake root. I've got a few junipers somewhere. Here they are. Alright, let's just have a go at that. We only need two, actually, because we only have two feathers, so that'll do me. Oops. It's a bit of a stupid way to come, but you know what? Alright. Here he goes. Over there. Just step up is really annoying in this context. Anyway. Looks good. Yep, that looks good. Thank you. Beautiful. Uh, and we'll have another of them. Thank you. Um, okay, so we've got Heaven Extract, and I believe we do have a sizable amount of Fiery Serum already. Um, how do you make a chalk again. So wood ash, of course. Bark and cobblestone. Okay, um, wood ash. Oh, now I'm out of bark. Uh, wood ash, bark and cobblestone. Thank you. And then is this, is this shapeless? I don't know. Here we go. Fiery chalk. Wonderful. Okay, let's let's draw the circle and then we'll uh we'll have a think. We'll have a bit of a think. Alright. Um no, I don't seem to have any sound on bewitchment. Oh buggerish. Um it seems to be related to my lag problem. Uh, like I suspect that once I once I fix that issue, um, it will also fix this sound issue that I appear to be having. I I don't know. Um, I've just had an idea for lighting in this room. I might light it up with shroom lights or something. Alright, so before we summon a demon, I'm just going to stock up. I actually have no idea what the demons in Bewitchment trade with. Uh, and actually, we're looking pretty good. Huh. But you know what? I might grab some extra emeralds. Uh, and to do that, I might take our rotten flesh. What else do these guys trade in? Um, I'll just put some of these back. Do they, do they trade in wheat? Oh, the wheat situation's not great either. I wonder if they trade in eggs. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I really don't know. You know what? I'm just gonna take I'm gonna take a bunch of random stuff. Perfect. Still some ravens around, that's grand. Um, alright, let's do a bit of trading. Let's see if I let's see if we can get ourselves a couple of emeralds. Nitwits obviously are above uh, capitalism. Uh, this is a very pretty, 
very pretty. I think that's where I found the brewing stand, actually. Um, there's a golem. Where is everyone else? Alright, he's a farmer. He's probably got stuff. Oh, uh, dude, I only have... Oh. How about you, sir? 24 paper. I didn't bring any... Oh, come on. you got to be kidding me. Oh, wait on. There is a cleric in this town. Where is that cleric? Because he... He's the one who sold... Who... Uh, bought rotten flesh. You know what? You guys can have this. Go on. Might as well. He'd be here, wouldn't he? Because they're all here. Hmm. Unless he's like trapped underground or something. Alright, so now allegedly uh, demons won't uh, demons can't distinguish you from one of their own if you're wearing besmirched armor or words to that effect. I don't know how much stock I want to put in that <laughs> but I guess we'll find out. Um, so I think we will bring with us just in case we'll bring some armor uh, we'll get rid of the beetroot. I'll just stick it in my venery just in case. Um, we're going to take some of this, some of that. Mm, maybe he wants lapis as well, I don't know. Silver nugget, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what he wants. Uh... What else? I don't know, that looks pretty good. I think I think we're looking pretty good for this ritual. Okay, so we need that, that, that. Let's do this logically, shall we? Uh, one of them, one of them. Demon horn. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, maybe we should make a diamond sword for this. Uh, how do we get rid of the demon? Do we have to... Oh, hold on. So how do we do that? We have to sacrifice a human. Hmm... Well, we, there's plenty of nitwits. Um, okay, so I think we have to make a taglock kit. Um, so we'll make a couple. And then I think we'll need to have a villager victim. Alright. You, sir. Yep, that'll do me. Thank you. Did I get him? Uh 
<laughs> I got him. Are you gonna be grumpy now? Let's get another one just in case. Yeah, well. Sucks to be you. Alright. I'm sure there's some sort of reputation system. You know what? I don't care. I'm stealing your bed. I'm stealing your blood. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so I have our village tag lock. I've also picked up <laughs> another raven friend along the way while I had uh, some silver nuggets on me and I'm just gonna step in the fire because I deserve it. Uh, so we're gonna need to warp a villager. Now that's annoying because I've just realized. Um, yep, yeah, okay. Eldritch chalk, green elixir. Oh, that's actually not too bad. But it does mean we have to make more bloody wood ash. Um, that and Grim Elixir. Here we go. Beautiful. Okay, now that we've got all the chalk, I do wish. Yes. The Witchman doesn't seem to have that thing. Um, how did you spawn in here? Doesn't seem to have that thing uh, where you can bind the circles into like a little circle charm. Which is a bit of a bugger, but... Because uh, I don't want to get rid of... Hmm, I really don't want to get rid of these... Uh, this chalk circle, but... Can't figure out a way to save circles. It's a bit annoying. Oh well. Yes, yeah, so it's only one little one. All right, we can do that. Yep. Okay. Let's. So we do earth equal. Wait. Just want to get this right. Yep, okay. Earth equal and the tag lock. Alright, here we go. Earth equal and the tag lock. Here he comes. Uh, that didn't quite go correctly. Huh. Okay. Alright. I will be back, I think. Okay, so I'm recording this a little bit later. I haven't been able to actually solve the uh, the villager summoning problem, the villager warp problem. So, ladies and gentlemen, I will say goodbye for now. Thanks for watching another episode, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.